Hi, and welcome back to Quinma Pod Creations tutorial videos. And um, today I'm going to demonstrate how I did my miniature hairball earrings. I used some Charlotte Cut size 13 beads with some Nymo nylon beading thread size 0, John James beading needles size 13. I just put the trace of the little pattern on the pellon and did a real simple design on the round parts of each side of the bow and cut leather backing for inside and did a pico edge attaching the leather to the beadwork just on those two areas leaving the middle and the tabs fine and then I used my awl to kind of round out the bow so that it would be easier to shape and hold down because I want to sew both tabs to the center. So I trim down those tabs to fit right in that area in the middle of the beadwork. Getting them to fit right in there, so it'll be smoother when I beat around the center part. And they should both just fit right in that spot. But it, it's kind of difficult to hold all that together, so what I wanted to do is. What I did was um, sew the tabs together first to kind of secure them together. And just one on top of the other and just run it uh, back and forth. Packing stitch to with two tabs, securing them to one another. It make it easier <clears throat> to hold into place when I'm sewing the whole thing together. Make it easier to hold on to. And now I'm going to sew it into that metal part and attach those two open areas. And just pull it tight and having those tabs sewn together makes it easier to hold. And then we just go through all that and secure it together. And keep it as even as possible. Keep it straight so the middle rows will lay flat. Okay, and then once it's done this small area that's in the middle there is where you'll put the three um, rows. And I did it with the one needle method for the first row. Because there's three rows that can fit in that middle open area. So I start close to one side and put on four beads to begin with and then did the score stitch with 
two beads at a time. doing that square stitch with all three of those rows will pull them together and be the same amount of beads in each row and they'll be lined up so it will make it look a little neater than if I just wrapped it or okay, I just sewed sewed them in there that square stitch really comes in handy and something like that where you want to get the rows to be right together. So we just go back and do that square stitch two beads at a time. And then once that square stitch is all done, all those, all three of those rows will be pulled together, and then have to work. If you didn't, if you didn't end up on the on the top, you have to work your way back up there and come out through the top of one of the sides of the bows, and I'm gonna put a leg across to the other side to attach the earring wire to. Yeah, it's kind of difficult to see what I'm doing. But I will be making an I'm going to try and make an ebook with the directions written out with pictures. Sometimes reading and looking at the pictures helps reinforce what I'm telling you in a short video. So I'm just gonna come up with the color beads you want in that loop. And then to get those three rows it, it, it seems like they won't fit and it's real good. but once you get them all put in there and lined up and pull it snug you just fall right into line in the space and hold the hold the bow shape for it much better leather backing really helps give it some good form. Get all tangled up there when I'm trying to do that. It's kind of a tight spot to be doing that. Good. So get the colors of your loop on there. And then I went back through the loop, through all the beads, back down the other side to go through and um, kind of give it a 
reinforcement run two and then once that's done you just tie it off hide your knot <coughs> excuse me and then I burnt the threads and that would be it a miniature beauty bow earring and we just attach the earring wire right to the loop of the earring and hopefully get it all secure and that's it turned out very nice very miniature size well thanks for stopping by I hope you enjoyed this video and uh I, like I said, I will be making an ebook and uh, can sell the pattern. Stop by and join the group, answer all the questions we won't be able to get in. Visit my website, www.quinwapawcreations.com, and look for the new ebooks that are coming. All right, thanks for coming by. See you next time.